Yeah, yeah, we've been off to you know good start, and uh, I think going to Hoover, you know, has been a really good thing for this group after preparing here all fall, and uh, you know the field's in great shape. They've really dressed it up to have a good Alabama flavor to it up there, and and uh, so there's been a lot of excitement with the group with that, but. Uh, more importantly, we've gotten some good work done there. I think uh, the biggest thing you know, that we've got to do moving forward is uh, solidify our weekend rotation, uh, which we lost last year. But uh, you know, right now we're pretty comfortable with you know Gilbo, Carter, uh, Bramblett, Icoats. Those four guys are really competing for those four spots, and uh, got some other guys that are coming. Castillo's throwing the ball good, and. Then, I you know, feel real good about our bullpen. Got you know most of all those guys are back in place where they were at last year, and you know the one thing we've really prepared for and worked hard is moving into the Met, being so spacious in a much bigger ballpark. Uh, going to see a little more of a running game, a little more of a short game, and uh, a lot of execution. So we've spent a lot of time with that. Obviously, the the personnel has changed a little bit with losing you know a lot of the middle of the lineup with Wass and Smith and and. Uh, more of those guys so uh but the makeup of our team and of our offense fits i think where we're going to play and we've trained that way so you know we still got a lot of work to do in the next couple of weeks but i think we're you know moving in the right direction right now you have a, a lot of guys that have experience but you mentioned you know maybe not guys that have played as many full season experience you know they've gotten experience here and there so in a weird way it's you got guys with things to prove, but they play. Yeah, and I think especially when you look at our at our pitching, our our starting pitching. I mean, that's that that's the only part of you got some unproven guys. And even though Gilbo's a senior, you know, won a regional game for us last year, and actually was a Friday night starter as a freshman. I think, you know, the book's out. He's got to prove, you know, week in week out of, of that he can be a true, you know, Friday Saturday starter. And uh, he's pitched extremely well up to this point. I think Will Carter, uh, another guy, you know, JUCO transfer, hadn't pitched in the SEC, and uh, but he's been really good, you know, up to this point. And obviously Bramlett's got experience, and as the other guys. But it's still what we need is to see those guys take another step forward and really solidify themselves in those roles. And then really the same the same thing on the position side. I mean you have guys like Mikey and Kyle and Georgie and Houston that were everyday players last year and, and Vincent. So, you know, the expectation for those guys really, uh, like, is just to take another step forward and, and become a little better player and use that experience that we had to improve our game. Um, for me, I'm really excited. I grew up in Hoover, and I, the Met was pretty much in my backyard, so I'm excited to go back there, uh, get with a different kind of fan base, not those Tuscaloosa guys that are coming to every game, and just having a different fan base coming out and supporting us every game. Quite honestly, it's been great. I mean, they have can't say enough about the group at the Met the way that they've really welcomed us with open arms. Uh, as I said, the ballpark is in terrific shape. Uh, our scrimmages, you know, we've probably had a couple hundred people there. Uh, so I really feel like this can be a real good thing for our program this year. And particularly if we can have a really good year and put a good product on the field, continue to get better, I think the fans will really come out. We've always been supported well, you know, at the Met and in Birmingham. Uh, but this this is a unique, a unique year that really we become their home team. And uh, I think obviously one got to have a good product on the field too. We've got to do a good job promoting it out there in that area. But it's a different market, you know, than what what we're used to here. And if we could take advantage of the spots we we need to take advantage of. I think it can be something special up there, but also can have a carryover effect coming back here next year. You mentioned it might be a good thing for the team to have that. Is it, is it part of that thought process of the team being able to 
spend more time together, I mean, having the longer bus rides. And, and what do you see is, are there some downsides to it in terms of, of the what's going to be asked of you guys? Well, I, you know, I think there's some unknown right now. Uh, we don't know how getting on a bus 56 times, you know, is going to affect us at this point. But I think that as a coach, you know, I'm excited the fact that every weekend we're going to be in a hotel together. And it just creates more of a, an environment that you want from a coaching standpoint. And we're going to be together. It's more opportunities to meet. It's more opportunities to talk baseball, to do all those things we need to do. Uh, but more importantly, we're going to grow together as a team. And, and we've, we've worked extremely hard preparing that way from the get-go, knowing that there can be some differences in what we're going to face this spring. So I think our guys are very prepared uh, moving into the spring. And, but I think, too, as a coach, I'm going to have to be very aware of where our bodies are at and uh, when guys need to take a little time off, when we need a little rest. And also, you know, when, when it's time to push a little bit more. So, but I, I think, you know, these guys are pretty resilient. So I don't, I don't foresee us having a lot of issues with that. Uh, certainly when you get into SEC play and you have some long grinding three-game series, you know, some Tuesday games can be tough there. Particularly now we're playing four double headers on Tuesday. So we don't have to make the drive Tuesday and Wednesday. So, uh, a lot of that is just going to be things we're going to have to make good sound adjustments on and make sure we're doing the right thing to keep our players in a good spot and to keep them mentally fresh. Maybe both players you talk about tell us how to look going into the season and what kind of attention you think this team has. Um, we're definitely excited, um, like Mikey said, to be playing in Hoover and uh, have a different fan base, have all the fans in Birmingham that normally might not make it to Tuscaloosa um, there to watch us. And uh, I, this is a team that's filled with potential. Um, you know, the defense is always going to be solid. Uh, we preach on that a lot. And uh, we're definitely returning some some very good players, uh, even though we lost a few good players. So we're very excited about this year. Yeah, I'm just really excited to, I mean, we've watched each other play in the fall and throughout the spring, and I'm just excited to see us play other teams and see how we do. Thomas, maybe it's not as fun for Mikey, but when you get to play in that park and have a good defense behind you, is that, I mean, I imagine that's got to be exciting from a pitcher standpoint. Uh, like yeah, it, it's it's incredible having that huge outfield. Um, we've already seen several plays over the course of our scrimmages there the past couple weeks. Um, some incredible plays out in center field and and on balls that would normally be doubles or triples, you know, in, in a smaller park or maybe even home runs. Everybody's pretty fired up, huh?